Welcome back, everybody. Now, uh, Kehard Marx continues with the project on uh, transforming uh, visual certainties into new spatial imaginaries as uh, he engages his interest in the construct or idea of distance. Well, this is seen through his fifth solo exhibition that is currently on display at the Goodman Gallery in Johannesburg and will be showcased until the 8th of September. And to give us more details about this current project uh, that he calls the Near Distant, uh, Gerald is joining us now uh, on Zoom. Gerald, a very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome. Good morning. Welcome. Now, this exhibition has a very, I would say, a distinct title, Near Distant. Talk us through this title as, as well as what really inspired this exhibition. The exhibition really um, asks the question, how do I create a sort of visual and spatial metaphors that does the sort of spatial complexities of our, uh, of our current situation justice? And it's a series of works that really construct sort of uh, visual, I suppose, visual riddles or visual puzzles in a way that um, sort of presents the viewer with, with those complexities. Um, the idea of near distance is about a sort of intrigue that, I've, that I have with the idea of distance as something that, that is uh, far, as something, as a space in which boundaries are blurred, where where um, things are not necessarily sort of understood. And how do I embrace that? How, am, how do I embrace a space in which things are unclear, really? Mm. Um, but of course, distance became a very central part to the way we um, operate with social distance and those things that literally made distance uh, become very present in our world. But really, the, my work is concerned with spatial metaphors and with how we understand close proximities, distances, how we relate to each other, things like that. Okay. You know, I'm particularly enthralled by the abstract uh, nature of this exhibition. You, you quite prominently use the, the word distance. Let's talk about the construct or this idea of distance. I mean, it's said that there is an emotional route to an encounter with distance. Tell us more about what you mean by that. You know, it, it, the... The idea of working with distance was, in a sense, a, a kind of impossible project I set myself. Because really, if you try to understand distance, you are bringing it close and you sort of transform it into nearness. But when we try to understand something, we say that we grasp it or we bring it close, in other words. Um, the, the work is really about sort of embracing not understanding or not really grasping something, or not transforming so, or simplifying things in order for me to understand it. So, so pushing something into distance or embracing that thing as a distance is a sort of a, a, a personal project of, of trying to let things be, really. Um, so, so the works are really about letting uh, sort of creating cartographies that allows me to embrace the complexity of things rather than creating a cartography that that make, that simplifies things. Do unpack for us the, the pieces that you are currently exhibiting. Uh, paint a picture of the story behind some of these pieces. A large body of the work continues my interest in cartography. So a large body is... Um, uh, me working with an archive of decommissioned maps that, that I cut up and reassembled to create, to, to basically rupture the rectangle of the map and I suppose the certainties that maps want to offer and then reassemble them into these far more complicated geometric structures. And then the, the exhibition also revolves around five stories that are very present in the exhibition. And the stories are short little um, sort of paragraph long stories that are that are almost sort of sculptural in their presence. They, they describe moments of uh, and, and sort of interpretations of engaging with objects. Mm -hmm. And then there are also a series of sculptures. And the sculptures are um, built from brick and stone. Um, and they take an interest from early Renaissance um, paintings in which the perspective of the backgrounds don't correlate to the perspective of the human drama. 
and and that's part of my interest is that this uh, is how can they how can I construct images in which multiple points of view exist? So those sculptures really grew out of an interest of in how can I create an object that doesn't describe to your sense of perspective so that you engage with something that lives in a different sort of perspectival world to your reality. Well, having created an object that does not subscribe to a sense of perspective, as you've just mentioned, so what kind of conversations uh, are you hoping that this exhibition will spark? What is it that you want people to converse about? I, I think the exhibition is really about creating a sort of contemplative space, a very sort of, it's a very quiet, contemplative, sort of philosophical space that I hope to open. Um, and, and really it's about um, trying to open a conversation around how do we allow, how do we construct visual tools that will allow for an, a, a conception of multiple points of view, multiple voices um, that will facilitate a sense of hybridity and, and the sort of complexity of our, of our world and how we, how we live in the world together. Mm -hmm. And this past Thursday, I understand uh, you, you had a discussion with architect Sumaya Vali uh, as part of uh, the Goodman Gallery's ongoing Hashtag Thursday Live series. How did that go? It was fantastic and it was such a privilege to speak to somebody like Sumaya. She's such a um, sort of inspiring figure. Yeah. And, and her practice, Counter Space, does such inspiring work. So it was, it was wonderful mm -hmm. to be able to engage with her. So earlier this year, uh, you were selected to take part in, in Aura, which is you know, a virtual platform which combines uh, the arts, uh, which combines music and architecture. The only artist selected from the African continent. Tell us more about that. Well, it was fantastic because Aura grew out of the, um, out of the moment um, in, 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 of lockdown, I suppose. Yeah. And what was interesting was that in that moment of sort of restraint, these other sort of modalities open and with spatial metaphors being one of my interests, it was amazing to suddenly be contacted by people in London who opened up this sort of virtual space, virtual engagement, and, and suddenly I, I was able to have conversations with people on a sort of global level. So it was very interesting that that, that moment of, of radical constraint opened into, into, in, in, into other ways of of creating connection. And do you think that your work has a global footprint or a global appeal, or is it simply confined to the South, uh, to, to the South African context? No, I think, well, I hope that my work has a global appeal, but really the, um, the, the, the things that I try to speak to in my work is really about um, the sort of more global issues and, and, and our relationship to the environment and our uh, I suppose I'll, I'm, I'm really interested in how we recreate the world and, and, and in effect how the world recreates us. And so I think those are very sort of global human concerns. The exhibition is open to the public by appointment only. Give us more details. Well, um, the, the, the Goodman is only allowed to, to, to allow a certain amount of people in at one time. But, the, but, but you, it's a very simple process in which you contact the gallery, they make an appointment. And I think what's really beautiful about that is that you get to have a very intimate um, viewing of the work, that, that, that you really get to spend time in, on your own in the space. And I think with the work being quite quiet, quite sort of contemplative, I think it, it should be a wonderful experience. All right. Gerhard, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Good stuff. Uh, joining us on Zoom there to speak about his fifth solo exhibition, Near Distant, that's currently underway at the Goodman Gallery. That's visual artist uh, Gerard Marks.